Hola y bienvenidos a todos. Welcome to the Mallorca Today Show. As you can see, we've left the sofa behind and I'm very excited and thrilled to be meeting the one and only Sean Kelly. Hello, Sean. Thank you for letting us join you here in sunny Alcudia. Now, what a long list. 17 year career, 193 titles and reported, I'm no doubt convinced, the classic rider of all time. How does that feel? That's a responsibility on those shoulders, I would imagine. Well, it's not a responsibility anymore because my career is over for a long time. But uh, when I was at the top of my career, of course, uh, when you're winning the big classic races, uh, there's a lot of responsibility on your shoulders to keep on winning and keep repeating year after year. Mm -hmm. So at that moment, uh, the responsibility was there. But now, uh, you know, I ride a bike just for leisure, uh, do some of these um, bike and holiday camps here in Mallorca. And uh, I think the thing is, I enjoy me riding my bike uh, all the time. Fantastic. And where did it all start? Were you always passionate as a kid about your bike or... Because where's home? Waterford, is that right? Was yes, that... yes, I came from a small town, Carrick on Shore, in, uh, in down County Waterford. Um, I didn't come from a cycling family. I uh, played a lot of uh, gear, hurling football at school. And then um, there was a club in Carrick on Shore that was starting out a cycling club. So I, um, I joined the club. The members came to the school and was looking for young guys, 15, 16 years of age. And I started, my brother started just before me and I followed on. And... I liked the cycling and, uh, you know, started to be successful pretty quickly and uh, just continue on and it, it grew from there. But the length of the career, is that something, excuse my ignorance, is that that's quite an unusually long time, is it? Well, it is one of the longer careers, but not the longest. Uh, right. You know, there's other riders like uh, the Dutch rider, Zouda Melk, uh, Van Imp, they all had longer careers. Uh, I think back 15, 20 plus years ago, the careers were much longer. Now, you know, a 10, maybe... 12 years is you know the norm for a professional uh, so yes i had a long career and had a very good career and uh, came out in very good shape i think when you come out of a career as a bike racing um without any injury i think that's a victory in itself absolutely absolutely and of course it's it's becoming more and more popular i, I feel I, it, you know it, within my own family my son and my husband are very very much following everything that's been going on and and i myself remember as a young person here on the island with some irish friends we were rooting for you all the time so your name has always remained in my history for a long time so it's a great privilege to meet you today because i'm sure they'll be very envious um now your connection with mallorca well, uh, my connection, um, it goes back a long, long time. When I was only 18 years of age, I came to ride in the Cinturon uh, de Mallorca here, which I won as an 18-year-old. Uh, and um, I've been back here many times on holidays, but in the last 10, 12 years, i come back here a number of times, especially in the beginning of season. Um, end of March, April, we come back here for you know a number of weeks um, because of the climate. We've got the sunshine here, and, um, you know, it's... Uh, a fabulous place to ride your bike and you only just look around the island there's so many bikers here from all over Europe from all over the world and that's the reason we're here uh, I, suppose, I suppose coming from Ireland this time of year you know to take people away from Ireland and get them on their bikes for a week uh, that's what we're providing here and it's uh, it's something that the people enjoy I certainly enjoy riding my bike and meeting so many people that followed my career uh, that never had the opportunity to meet me and they come here and they get an opportunity to ride a bike and you know go out and do 30, 40, whatever fitness level they're at, uh, ride that bike with me. Fantastic. Fantastic. We're going to hear a lot more after the break so please come back and join us then. Pro. Online, on TDT, on Mallorca Today.
Welcome back everybody. Uh, I'm joined today by Sean Kelly and we were chit-chatting earlier on about a career. Now, what was the highlight? Well, I think uh, I was lucky. There was many highlights, of course, winning the classics like the Tour of Lombardy and Paris uh, uh, Roubaix, winning the Tour of Spain in '87, a three-week tour. I think that was, uh, uh, you know, one of the main highlights of my career as well because I was a one-day rider and then became a, a big three-week tour rider. Wow, fantastic! And now your career is still going on. You're still very much involved with cycling. Obviously, Eurosport is that right? You're yes, I'm. In, I'm involved uh, commentator with Eurosport um, with the last uh, four, twelve, thirteen years now, and um, we do all the big events, the classics, and of course the big tours, Tour of France, Tour of Italy, Spain, all of those races. And uh, yes, I enjoy most of the time as in commentary on sports events. Uh, you know, there can be some days where it gets long, but uh, I suppose the experience as well. That's where you know it's important when you come from a professional. Uh, you can see and you can commentate on the tactics of the events. And equipment-wise, has much changed? I think, as, as I presume, that the equipment has evolved as well as the the sport. Yes, well, the equipment has changed. I think uh, big time. When you see the bikes now, you know the way the uh, the development has made it uh, so much easier. I suppose to. Um, to ride your bike, made it more safer as well. You know, everything is more lightweight, and uh, um, you know it's uh, it's really improved. I think the performance of the athletes. Absolutely, it must have he must help them an awful lot. So you had it tough. <laughs> they got it easy now. <laughs> yes, well, uh, I think yes, it, it certainly does. You know, uh, as in all sports, you know, when the where, where there's technology, where there's uh, space for technology, well, that's certainly in biking. Now we're here in Alcudia. You you come along and help Sport Active, as in. As you've mentioned before, uh, people of any experience can actually come and cycle with you, which is a wonderful, wonderful uh, opportunity for a lot of cy keen cyclists. And is that something that you've been doing for a while? Yes, I'm here, I think, about uh, eight, five, five or six years. Um, but yes, Sport Active, we cater for everybody here. Uh, you know, people who want to do only 15 or 20 kilometers in the, in the day, and we get, you know, groups of people, anything from 30 to 90 people, and we have guys that will take them out on their chosen routes, their chosen distance, and uh, it's uh, it's a magnificent place, as I said, so, you know, moments earlier, just the climate, that's what really makes it here for everybody. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, we're going to go head back to the heartbeat of all, where all the cycles are in the cycling store there, so uh, join us after the break. Let's go and see some action. Thank you. 